In today's episode, farming is going to be something that I'm pretty focused on. I would like to do a lot of it. We are in spring, which is the best time of year to do farming as well. Uh, we see here spring, year three, just started off. The reason it's the best time is because everything you can plant, uh, you can plant during spring. So let's go... Oh, sorry. Uh, who's that? Delabora <laughs> ran into her. She did a little outro right there. And we can see we've got some things here, um, but not anything I particularly want to plant. What I would like to do is let's have a look over on this workbench and have a look, not at first size, which we know to make, uh, animal feed. So animal feed will require straw, rye, and oats. So that's what we have to farm. Now, the straw is not a problem. There's all different ways we can get it, including using this wheat and processing it on the threshing floor over here. But it's the other stuff. It's the oat and it's the rye. And if I look in here, I don't think we have much of that. We've got, oh, we got rye. We've got 96 rye. Would you look at that? So what we want then is a similar number of oats. And I think that's what I'm going to do for this part of the farm. I'm going to plant in here a lot of oats. But what we can do is if we equip our simple bag right here, just put it anywhere we like, we can select that and right click it. And then when we go on here, this is what I really like is it shows you everything that you can plant. So flax, for example, we plant it in spring, it goes to summer. We can do the same with carrots or the, in autumn. But yeah, it basically shows you everything that you can plant during spring if you wish. The question is, what do we actually want to plant this spring? And having a look around there, I'm going to make a decision here that we're going to plant just oats and we're also going to plant flax. Those are our two things. Now, this farm right here, if we go on to our management of it, we can open up the field here and we can see that these are plants that are growing, so we can't do anything with them. And then we've only got this half left, but I think that's going to be a really good size for oats. We'll get a ton of oats and what we don't use for the animal feed, we'll use for things like porridge and other food items and stuff like that, or we can just sell it. What I want to do then is make an entirely separate field Oh, berries, we should collect those as well. <laughs> Sorry, but yes, make an entirely separate field where we're going to do the flax harvesting. Now, just having a quick look around here, I'll need to find a spot for it. It needs to be quite a big spot, but potentially just up on this hill here could be good. It's going to be a bit higgledy piggledy this town at the moment. I'm not too worried about that just because we are eventually going to be moving the town anyway. Um, and it kind of has a more natural feel to it. But I think if we go behind these sheds right here, this is probably a good spot for it. So what I'll do is chop down this tree here and uh, I'll take the stump out of this one too, and then it should be a good little spot for it. So that's the plan for today. I'll give you updates along the way, of course. Uh, just to say as well, usually in these videos, I will mention people's comments from previous videos, because I do get some awesome comments from you guys, and they're very appreciated where I get tips and things like that. But what I'm doing with this video is I'm actually filming it right after the other one on the same day. Usually I'll, I'll wait overnight, see what comments come in, and then include them. So there won't be comments included uh, in today's video, but I will be doing it again in the future. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm spending the day at the zoo <laughs> just for like a day out with my girlfriend. So we're going to go to the zoo. And uh, so I'm making two videos so that I can keep to the one video each day for this series. And it's just uh, something I wanted to do as a little thank you for all the support that I've had from you guys is really trying my best to keep uh, on top of this series. So let's just do explain that the comments will be back soon. OK, so let's go on to let's see buildings, farming and uh, field right here. And let's look to place it, I need to get it like about here. Now these animals are going to be in the way, aren't they? It's not going to let me place this. Yeah, <laughs> this is going to be a problem. Oh, I don't want to have to do it during the evening. Let's have a look. We can see what trees are in the way too. So actually, uh, we're going to need to take down a few more trees in the area too. I'll do that first. And hopefully by the time I've done that, um, oh, is that, um, okay, so it's still... Thinks, oh, there we go. Right click to get rid of that. I was like, why is that still there? Yeah, I'll get rid of the trees and hopefully by the time we come to build the field, the animals will have moved on. Okay, I think we've got a small window here where the, the uh, animals are out the way and we might better make this field. So let's see. I'm trying to get this correct even though the uh, donkey is coming. Let's see if we can run over here just about and get this place down. It's going to be a big field. We're going to go pretty big with this thing. I like the big fields. I said that in the previous episode, I think, but I do like to have a big farm. Let's, let's really just go for it. Like, boom. Oh, yes. This is... This is going to be a mighty field. Now, let's have a look. Yeah, that's that's plenty big enough. Given that this is only going to be flax, <laughs> I think uh, I think we should be good there. So now I'm going to have just a ridiculous amount of hoeing to do. And uh, somewhere I did have a copper hoe, I think. If not, I'll make some up. We're going to have to turn this uh, barren field into a workable field. And that's going to be our plan. Not the most exciting thing you guys can see. So I'll probably just cut to the point where it's done or just do little updates along the way. Uh, Obviously not going to show the whole thing, but it will be uh, very useful to have and then we can get our flax planted. It actually just occurred to me that what I could do while it's still sunny is get to the market and buy stuff because I can do a lot of the field work in the evening if I want. So I think that's what I'm going to do. 
And what we need to do is to buy the seeds uh, for rye. No, for oats, sorry. We've got the rye. We need to buy oats. So if we go to management right here, go back to this field uh, number one. Let's have a look. So one, two, three, four by, I think, 12. One, nine, 10, 11, 12. Four times 12 is 48. Now, I believe that we have exactly 48 fertilizer. Let's see if my memory serves. Uh, first up, 48. Bang on. There we go. So we need to buy just the seeds for now, the 48 seeds. And I'll worry about how... Hold on. What happened? Some of our farm has gone missing. This this is no longer farmland. Um, is it because we haven't done anything on here for a while? It's just turned back to, to needing to be hoed again? Is that what it is? Let me get a hoe and try this out. Okay, so we open the chest here. I think there should be a, a hoe in here. There's a couple of wooden hoes that will do us for now. So I might upgrade to copper for the... Uh, the fact that we're doing so much more hoeing now. So wooden hoe, equip you, uh, just anywhere. Uh, and if I do that, does that... Uh, oh, it just requires fertilizer. So it is still field, but it looks different to this. Okay, not entirely sure why that is. Let's grab the fertilizer out a second. I just want to see, we grab this out, can we actually fertilize this area? Because it looks different, doesn't it? And uh, you guys might be used to this and know that I'm worrying over nothing. Hopefully that is the case. Uh, but let's see. Okay, so once I put the fertilizer down, it looks like it's turning it back to just normal field. I'm guessing maybe fields over time, you can just leave them then, and they can become abandoned and turn back to normal ground or something. Is that what it is? Because even this now looks different, right? It's like the, the wheat here is on top of grass now. Maybe it's just a bug or something to do with a new update. I don't know. Um, I'm sure you guys will let me know down in the comments. But uh, yeah, it's a bit of an odd one, that. So let's see. I wonder if I just keep going up here. I'm guessing it will just naturally tell me now where the edge of this field is, because it's all going to just blend in. So yeah, that's no longer field, and it goes off this way, and that will catch up to the old one. Okay, all right, no problem then. We should be all right with that. Uh, let's go buy those seeds. I might pay my taxes while I'm in town as well, because then that's just the job done, and we know exactly how much money we've got then to play with for the rest of the uh, season. Uh, so that'll be something to look at while we're in town. Over at the uh, vendor now, and we're just looking for these oat seeds or oat grains. So if we want to buy these, uh, let's see, we want to buy 48 of them, don't we? So let's do that first. It's going to be a lot of oats, but that's going to be very good. Now, we've got 1,311 coins left. I think we should pay our taxes. So let's go to the journal here in the side quest. We'll track that quest and see where we need to go just to, you know, find Derwan a bit more easily. Oh, not Derwan, is it? It's Mirror God for the uh, taxes. There he is, find him a bit more easily. So, yeah, there you go. There's all of the money and the dialogue. And uh, we've paid our taxes. That's great. But we are now pretty broke. We've got 61.4 coins left. So that's not uh, not a ton. But uh, at least we're, we're good for another year now with the taxes. And probably need to focus a little bit more on money over the coming year. But the big flax field that I've made, once we have come to the point of harvesting that, is going to do a large portion of that for us. So we should be good at that stage. Doing that trade gave us a new level of diplomacy skills that we can spend. So that's pretty exciting. We've got two diplomacy skills that we can spend. I'm going to spend them both on bartering because we are doing so much of that at the moment that now we're going to get, let's see, 20% better selling and buying prices. That's huge. For every thousand coins we spend, we'll get 200 knocked off of that. And for every thousand coins when we're selling, we'll, we'll get that instead of... Wait, no, we'll get 1,200 instead of 1,000. That's what I'm trying to say. As you might have been able to tell over the last couple of episodes, maths is really not my strong point, guys. And yet, for some reason, I persist in trying to do mental arithmetic on stream, or on video, I should say. Um, anyway, we're going to get to doing the uh, the farming side of things now, but I thought I'd spend those skill points with you. It looks like, actually, we had... Uh, oh, don't need the torch, actually. Um, we had a couple of other skill points to spend here, too. So we've got this one right here, which is uh, our, our extraction skills. And I'll have a little look at this one. Less durability of pickaxes and shovels. That could be good because we're going to do a lot of mining. So actually, yeah, I'm just going to spend that one straight away. Let's do that. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got hunting skills to spend too. Hmm, that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and beef up this uh, first skill right here. So we just keep getting more and more skill points every time we hunt because that's going to be really useful. And we've got the production skill, but we're going to save that and see what we might need it for in the future. We're just approaching the evening right now. And as you can see, this farm right here has now been uh, all hoed out. So we do need to add fertilizer to it. I'm wondering with the farm whether it's a case of it needed repairing uh, and you know basically redoing with a hoe. And that's just pretty natural. I think that might be the case. Uh, if I go to management, does it say anything about that on here? Uh, doesn't seem to. So yeah, but I assume that that, that needs to happen. One of the reasons I say that as well is to do with our gravel path here, because just down here, you can see that some of the, the gravel path has gone away. So 
we go to roads, let's see if we can get this back on track. We place this down. So, okay, that, that's not letting me place it very close there. Uh, so it's like, we can place it here, but then that's so far away from that. Uh, okay, I guess that's as close as it wants to get. And then we're going to try and get it up that way. So let's see here. Okay, I'll try there. That's about as close as I can get it. A little bit annoying, that uh, doesn't look very good. Um, I wonder if we go, if we switch to our hammer and we put it into repair mode. And nothing here sa says it needs repairing. What about the farm up here? Is that something that needs repairing? No, it just seems to have come apart. Well, do let me know in the comments if you know what's going on with that anyway. Um, we'll, we'll have to check that out. What I want to do for now is get some manure and start fertilizing that field. Um, so in here... We have quite a lot of manure, 136. But we did hire a worker in the last episode who was working on the pigs. So I believe there should be some manure in here. I think that's what they'll do with it. Uh, let's have a look here. Yeah, there we go. 30 more manure in there as well. So that's been harvested for us by uh, whatever his name. Oh, what was it? Dom domicile or something. I remember my silly domicile joke. <laughs> I remember the name. So let's grab all of that across. And let's see here. If we want to make up the manure or the fertilizer... We can make up 83. Wow, that should be enough. Uh, let's get to doing that, and then I'll see if that's enough or not. Well, guys, I promise you this was a total accident. <laughs> but if we count the squares here, this is actually 9 by 12, meaning it's the exact same size as the other field. Field 1 right here is also 9 by 12. So this was a complete accident, but that's how I did it. So the good thing about that, though, is if I look in here, um, 108 is the flax seeds that we saved for this farm. That's how much we've got now for the next farm. Now, I do need more fertilizer, so I only got the 83, but the animals will keep producing manure, and we do have the whole season in which to plant it. There's no difference planting it in like the beginning of the season versus the end of the season. It really just doesn't matter. Um, so because of that, I think that we'll be good here. We won't have to buy any seeds. We definitely uh, won't have to buy those because we've got them, and we shouldn't have to buy any manure or, uh, sorry, fertilizer, I should say, either. So uh, that's what I'm going to spend my night time doing, and then we'll come back in when the farm's done. We're just in the kitchen right now. Now, what I'm doing is roasting up a load of meat here that was about to go off. And on top of that, we've got some other food that looks like it's about to go off, like some carrots and cabbages and stuff like that. So I think what we need to do is do something with it. Find a recipe that contains it, or even if we just sell it, even if it's just for a small price. You can see here we've got 416 carrots, we've got 155 cabbages, and they're at 25%. So if we don't do something with them, it really is a bit of a waste. And yeah, we did a lot of farming to get this stuff. So I want to try and figure something out here. So with the cabbage, we can make potage, but we just need to get some meat. And I don't know how much meat I've actually got here that I can use. Uh, only three. So really, there's not a lot of point to doing that. When we get more meat, we could do it with these cabbages. But what I think I'm going to do instead is literally just take all the stuff to market and sell it. The eggs, however, are a bit different. Oh, we're over at Bird and Nut. Right, let's pull this stuff away for a second. But that's what we're going to do in the morning. Just go and sell all this stuff, get what we can for it. The eggs is really simple. We just turn them into scrambled eggs. So let's take, I don't know, just a load of bowls out here. There we go. And I believe that is a cauldron recipe also. Yep, here we go. Scrambled eggs. So let's make a couple load of those. And then they'll be 100%. And we can just add them to our town's uh, food storage. We just will do that. Um, but yeah, it's uh, something I need to keep an eye on in, in the future. Because we're not going to get as good a price for these crops, I'm assuming. Now that they're deteriorated, I guess 100%, you get a much better price for them. We're really just selling them to get rid of them. Uh, we do have hundreds of them, so it might add up to being a couple hundred coins or something in total. But uh, yeah, it's certainly not the most efficient way of doing this. Just leaving the cave again. We did a load of mining throughout the night. Seems like a good thing to do. We need the copper for tools for myself and also for my villagers, but also the copper uh, tools to actually sell for a, a reasonable amount as well. It's certainly not the worst way you can spend your time in terms of making money. We got ourselves 87 copper ore right there, so that's pretty good. What I'm going to do now is load up with these cabbages and carrots and take as many as I can with me. We've got our noble steed here. Oh, actually, to the lie, I've got a load more copper than I thought. Let's uh, make sure we get all those put back in. So we actually got 108. That's pretty good. Uh, let's get anything heavy back off of us as well, because we're going to try and take as much as we can here to sell and just do a couple of trips there. Again, we got the uh, we got Claude here helping us out. So let's see. How many carrots can you take? Probably not all of them, right? That's a little bit too much. So let's take some back off you. We'll figure this out, and then we'll go into market and sell them. Okay, we are loaded up, and we're here at the market, and we're going to have a little sell and see what we can uh, get in terms of the money there. So we've got 61 coins on us right now. Let's go speak to someone here and let's sell. Oh, wait, I'm talking to the wrong person here. Uh, let, I, I don't want to take. Yeah, goodbye. I didn't want to accidentally take a quest there. Um, I thought that was a shop person. Okay, we're good. Uh, so we'll talk to this one. Let's see. 200 cabbages. Sell all of those for 144. Not bad at all. Sell all of those for another 55. Sell all these carrots. Uh, what was that? Like another 128, I think it said. Uh, now, Claude has got the rest of the stuff here for us to sell. So let's get all this out. Still got a fair bit, as you can see. 
Um, and I'm accidentally clicking random buttons here as we go. There we go. We just about managed to do the right thing. Uh, so once again, let's see here. So this one cabbage, then all of these, and then all of that. There we go. So we are now on 433 coins. So what do we make out of that? About 370 coins, roughly, something in that region. So not too bad at all. Um, and, you know, it was just going to go off and, and do nothing. So at least we got something out of it. And, you know, it's good to have. Going to head back now, get on with a bit more farming, see how much manure we've been able to collect over the night as well. Hopefully enough to start finishing off that uh, flax farm, which is going to be a very big flax farm indeed, which uh, that's where the real money is going to come later on. I managed to unlock a new building, guys, and it is an animal husbandry building. It is, let's find it here, the Goose House. That is awesome. So I do love me a bit of farming, and that's the focus of today's episode anyway. So I definitely think we have to get a Goose House and get some, some geese in there. Gooses would sound so much better. They should never have called them geese. We should have gooses. <laughs> so how do we want this to go? I mean, it looks like it comes out that way. Um, now, all the farms are facing in this way for the most part. Some of them face both ways. Uh, not farms, the animal husbandry buildings, I should say. So let's keep this the same. We'll put the geese just down here like that. That'll be nice. Uh, so I'm going to go get all the resources right now. We'll do a little time lapse. Why not? We haven't done one for a couple of episodes, I think, of that being built. And then we'll see how we go about getting the geese into here. Maybe we have to head off to a new town, which could be quite fun. In a king size bed. Tick of a clock, a stranger to my left. The neighbors gave me a side eye, like I was blind. Oh, yeah. We have here the Goose House, ladies and gentlemen, and I have to say it's actually kind of a, a sweet build, really. It's got like little nests here for all the different geese to live in. Something quite nice about that, I don't really know why. Now, we are going to need some more animal feed, so I had a little thought here, and let's have a little look over in the barn and see what we want to do. So under the workbench, when it comes to animal feed, oat grain and rye grain is what we need. Now, we have the straw. In fact, we have some on us. As for the rye grain, I believe we can make the rye grain over here. So let's go onto the recipes for the threshing floor. And there we go. So we're just going to craft up all of that. Then we just need a bit of oat grain. Now we've planted all the oat grain that we had, of course. But what we can do is just head into town and buy some of the oat grain. And it will be pretty cheap to do. And certainly a lot cheaper than buying the animal feed itself. On top of that, whilst we're in the town, we need to speak to one of the locals there and ask them where do we go in order to buy the gooses. <laughs> I think I'm going to stick to that. Uh, yeah, where do we go to buy the geese? Uh, because then we can start filling up our, our goose house. And uh, I don't know how many we're going to be able to buy because I don't know how expensive they are. But as long as we get two in there, then the animal breeding will continue. And uh, yeah, it'd be quite fun. I'm not sure like if geese lay eggs. Um, I should say in this game. I know they do obviously in real life. And I'm assuming they do in this game. Uh, and it's just going to be normal eggs. But I'm wondering if there's like a goose egg item that's maybe a little bit better or something. Probably not, but we'll find that out together. Uh, so now that we're here, what we need to do is, what was it, buy the oat grain. And I don't know exactly how much I need, but I'll buy like 20 and that should be, uh, 20 should be plenty. There we go, that rhymes. Uh, hey, my man, can I buy some oat grains? Let's scroll down here. Oat grain, buy some of you. Uh, so if we do buy 20, let's see how much it's going to cost. Let's see, it's expensive. It's like 104 just to buy that because it's 5.2 each. Uh, well, the animal feed though, 18.2 each. So still a lot cheaper than it would have been otherwise. Um, also, um, can I speak to you and say, where can I find, uh, let's see, farm animals, uh, geese. There we go, geese right there. Uh, Piestovia, oh, oh my goodness. Well, no new towns for us. They are here somewhere. Guys, let's go on a goose hunt. I just realized going on a wild goose chase isn't a good thing, is it? Usually that means you end up running around and, and not finding what you're looking for. You're just being sent uh, false information on finding stuff. So let's not go on a wild goose chase. Let's go on a just, uh, just a, a nice goose chase. I don't know, a better name for that. But uh, what I'll do is I'll leave the, the noble steed clawed right there. And we're going to run up this way because this is where there's a lot of farms. You see there's a cow there and the, uh, just up on the hill. And we'll have a look and see if there's any uh, any geese up around here. I've managed to find the geese, guys. Here they are. So let's go onto the map and I'll show you guys exactly where they are. So if you come over the bridge there into Piastovia, then they're just in the back corner over here, as you can see. Now, we have Gooseling or Gosling. Is that Ryan? <laughs> well, we've got a name for, for one of these for just 20. Um, but the big geese here are only 91. So I think, you know, we should probably get a couple of big ones and maybe a baby too. So get the male one here, I guess, because they don't uh, lay eggs. That's why they're cheaper. But we will get them because they can breed with the females. So we get one male and one female, and that's how it's going to start out. And just for funds, 
Let's see, are there any male goslings? Okay, because if we find one, our first male gosling has to be called Ryan, right? Just for just for the lols. It looks like we're gonna have to wait for R2 to actually breed a male gosling though, because at the moment they're all female. Um, it saves us a little bit of money anyway, actually, which isn't too bad because uh, we've got to be careful in the early game here. But yeah, another animal to add to our arsenal of animals back at the farm, which is becoming quite well populated. And uh, we, we're going free range at the moment. None of them are fenced in. They're all free range, which uh, it's good. They returned to their house, so that's that's okay. Uh, we haven't lost any yet, at least not to my knowledge. And also, you know, they get to all be great friends during the day. Pigs and geese and chickens and donkeys all just getting on and having a great time together. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of, kind of like a farm utopia back at our place. Managed to have another donkey crash on the way home and I've fallen off my donkey. <laughs> Come on, let's get up, let's go. Um, but we are now back, at least, at the town. Uh, it has to say, it's the funniest animation ever, the way that when I run into walls and things, which I do quite a lot, I'll be honest, uh, the way that he falls off there is great. So, oh, there's his son, potentially, or daughter, or something like that. Now, what we're going to do is look to make up the animal feed for the geeses. Uh, so, let's see. We've got, uh, what did we just buy? We bought the oat grain, we got the rye grain, and we got some wheat on us. So, actually, I think we're ready to go here, aren't we? The animal feed. Uh, we can make up, wow, 20, 20 animal feed. That's so good. We've been buying all this stuff, and it is quite expensive. So, to have 20 just like that that we can use... Uh, is fantastic. I won't use all this on the geese, of course. What I'll do is probably take about five and give that to the geese just to get them going, and we'll sort of see them in their new little house, and then it's going to be nighttime again, so I'll probably just get on with doing more field work through the night and uh, get on with something new in the morning. We're actually, we do need to crack on a little bit because we're getting through the season a bit now, and we do need to make sure, of course, that everything is planted this season, all those flax seeds that we, we need to plant, which will take some time. So as soon as I've fed the geese, that will be the priority. Over to the goose house now, as you can see, and they are um, <laughs> what a strange way for them to both sit. Okay, well, you're going to have some food now, guys. Let's fill that up. There we go, 17%. That will last them for quite a long time. We'll see what drops we get out of them uh, over the next couple of days where we get some stuff that we're going to be able to use. Look, everyone's off to bed. Here they all come. So uh, no one's out and about at the moment. I guess the geese will do their first bit of exploring tomorrow morning. At that stage, they'll be out. I guess you could say the goose will be on the loose. <laughs> and uh, in the meantime, we're collecting this manure to get the fertilizer done to finish off this big field right here. So coming on tonight time, I'm going to say goodnight now and uh, we'll check it out in the morning and hopefully it will be done. I know I said I wouldn't be doing comments in this video, uh, but as I was recording, we got a super chat. So I, I can't ignore that. It was a very generous super chat, $10.00 from Grizzly TPK. So Grizzly, thank you so, so much, man. I really appreciate that. And I thought it'd be kind of fitting that uh, you could be named as one of our new uh, geese right here, one of our new animals in the farm. So we go to management and animals and the geese right here. Um, oh, well, actually, you could be a gander. Why not? <laughs> Call you a gander. That's, uh, that's great. So uh, there we go. Grizzly. Grizzly like that. Hold on, if I can actually spell TPK. Uh, again, thank you to everybody who's left Super Chats throughout this series. This is new to me, but it is really, really appreciated and, and awesome. Um, obviously, the support I get from you guys, channel members, Patreons, all of you guys, you know, it's what allows me to make so many of these videos, which I love to be able to do. So really, genuinely, thank you so, so much. And uh, yeah, obviously, we could not ignore such a, a generous comment there, guys. Um, but I meant more like if there's comments in episode nine, I won't be able to include those in this video because uh, they'll both be published before I uh, get a chance to review. But they will be back in episode 11. So to end the day off with making some money, what I've done is made up a ton of copper shovels. I'm going to go ahead and sell all of these for 1500 coins. That's fantastic. We're on 1800 now. I made some torches up and sold before too, so that's how we got some extra money in there as well. I like to do different things. Sometimes it's not always about what's like the most efficient thing you can do to make money. I just like to mix things up in the game and do a bit of everything, whether it's, you know, farming, building, mining, uh, you know, animals, all that sort of stuff. So, uh, so yeah, I think that's, that's a good idea. But we got a good amount of money. The season's coming to an end, and the next season should be a pretty busy one for us. There's going to be some harvesting to do and stuff like that. Um, and obviously, we've got to keep on top of the animals. You see in the top left, the very perceptive among you will have noticed we are running low on animal feed once again. So I believe the geese should be fine because they were fed quite recently, but I guess it's the other three that need food to put in there. Uh, we didn't give them that much food last time around. So this is actually working out really nicely because we've got 15, which divides by three. So we can go and give them five each. And uh, we we'll just well start with the chicken. So I think they're pretty low. Oh, they're on zero. There you go. I guess they go through it at different rates, probably because there's different amounts of animals and each animal requires different amounts of foods and stuff. Um, I do wish there was a way that you could like 
take all 15 animal feed with me and choose how much I put into the, the trough because I have to keep uh, going back there and changing each time. Um, but I, I don't in any way want to criticize this game because I think it's fantastic. It's just a bit of a suggestion or a thought, you know, not uh, not saying there's anything wrong with that. It's not the end of the world having to do this. But once we've done this, then all the animals are fed and hopefully we're pretty close to being able to get to the new season. I've just been sort of killing time a bit. <laughs> I do love the look of these geese. They look awesome, don't they? Uh, and do you know what? One final thing I'm going to do actually before we get to the night time is run around and see what berries I can find. Uh, there are loads of berry bushes near my town, so it's a really good spot. And the reason that we want to take them is we're going to do what we've done before. I'm sure you've seen in a previous episode where I just throw them on the barn floor and leave them to turn to rot. And once they've done that, we can use that to turn them into fertilizer. This is more so what you do in the early game, but we've got a little bit of time left between seasons and it's, it's still useful. It's still going to you know give us some uh, fertilizer, which we need. But uh, we're obviously moving on now to a point where we're going to be farming and making uh, animals, uh, animal feed to feed them and then using their manure for uh, fertilizer. But yeah, still, I think something worth doing in between now and the next season. So I'm going to do that. And hopefully the next clip will be us in the new year. Here we go, guys. Sleeping through to the next season. Always uh, an exciting time and then plenty more to do. All of our minds and resources and stuff will reset. So that's good. And uh, here we are. Brand new season and the wheat is ready to harvest. We are here in uh, summer of year three, plus 14.6 degrees right now. So the good thing that we can do right now is come in here and take off all of our heavy clothing. So we don't need the cap with the coif anymore. I don't think we'll need the thick leather gloves anymore either. And also the fur boots, they get put away until winter and we'll swap them out for our simple shoes just so we're not walking around barefoot. I mean, we're not animals here. <laughs> so here we go. And one thing I want to check straight away is the animals. I really want to see, are we going to have any baby pigs or anything like that? Uh, it'd be good to know, and these crops are all coming on nicely. So here is the moment of truth, and no. I, I kind of suspected we wouldn't. Uh, is it too early in the morning, potentially? Do we have any baby anything? Uh, so we've got two of the baby donkeys, which we already had. Uh, the geese looks the same. I don't, like, with the chickens, there isn't going to be space necessarily for any new ones because every nest is taken so perhaps they'll stop breeding for a time but yeah i'm not entirely sure about the pigs if we go to our management screen here our animal husbandry pigsty it has uh domicile working here so it does say workers here will provide manure it doesn't actually say anything about them speeding up um reproduction so maybe that's that's not actually a thing i might have been misinformed on that one or something uh, and this is the rye here. Now, is that rye ready to harvest? Let's uh, let's check that out. In fact, I might well have, yes, I do have a copper sickle on me. So we come up here and we hit it. Yeah, it's ready to harvest. Now, you can also just go to the management screen and double check this. Um, so that's all ready to harvest in field two. And in field one, all of our wheat is ready to harvest as well, of course. So we've got a big lot of harvesting that we need to do here. This will be very profitable. So we'll continue checking in on the animals and doing the uh, farming and all that sort of stuff in the upcoming episodes. I'm sure that if we were going to have any goslings, they would be here by now. Uh, the fact that they're not means that, uh, you know, probably they're just not going to be here in this season. We have to wait until the next one. And I feel the same about the piglets and stuff too. So I think we'll just have to leave it there. Um, obviously, this is an ongoing series that we'll keep an eye on. Now, it uh, looks like I'm leaving you from a very British looking summer. It is summertime, but it's pouring with rain. So that's quite fitting for an Englishman like myself. Again, guys, thank you all so much for uh, supporting the series. And if you want to see how my adventures at the zoo went, then uh, check out my Instagram. The link for that is down in the description. But for now, I will look forward to seeing you in the next one, and goodbye.